Hello, this is just a quick video. I, I was just organising, I was just going through the different synths and samplers and different equipment that I've got uh, because in a couple of days time I, I'm meeting up with um, two other chaps and we're, we're doing one of our first live improvised sets together one of the first sets we've done really for over 10 years and I wanted just to select what equipment I was going to take with me so uh, currently I've got the, um, the the Korg Electribe I've got the Octatrack and then I've also got the modular life forms, the modular synth and as I was just testing some combinations out and some MIDI routine I discovered I've got a really nice bass line that I wanted just to shape a little bit more I thought I'd share with you just some noodling on this synth and just trying to get this bass line um, just tidied up and we're going to do I'm going to sample that onto the sample onto the Octatrack so I thought I'd share that process with you so you can see how I do that and just share that so the aim of this video is to shape up this bass line a bit more record that onto the sampler and then I can reproduce that in a couple of days time when we have a bit of a bit of a jam so I'll just point the camera at the, the gear and we can have a look okay so it's looking a bit of a bird's nest at the moment it's because I'm just trying to plug these different things together just trying different ideas out so at the moment I'm going to be using the Octatrack um, uh, for the live performance for the live jam I'm going to be using the Octatrack I'll use the Korg Electribe 2 yeah I might take the, the Behringer um, but I'll be definitely taking the modular synth and then um, I'll talk about these in a bit more detail in, in a couple of videos I'll go into de in depth about the Octatrack uh, and then I'll, I'll do a, a more in-depth view of the modular life form and then I'll also do let me just get a bit closer on this one so this is just a bunch of modules that I've got that I can feed out from either the Octatrack I can feed out from the Octatrack using like the EQ out and use it like an FX send into the um, little box of tricks and uh, have a range of different delays and reverbs and stuff but I won't be using that for, for, for this little bit, bit I'm going to do now so the aim is I'm just going to use the Octatrack send some MIDI notes into the modular synth I'm going to try and tighten that up a little bit and then record that into the samplers and audio uh, and then that gives me the basses then I can add beats to it and all sorts so that's the plan I'm just going to try and capture that in between these two and I'll try it out with some beats off the the Korg as well and just see how it shapes up a little bit right okay so what we're going to do is um, I've got a very simple MIDI riff built on the Octatrack sending that out on channel 4 and that's going into the modular live forms so on the Octatrack let me just get you a bit closer to the Octatrack uh, we are I've got a MIDI channel one um, we've just got a few uh, notes being played and then we've got a very simple arpeggiator as well and hopefully that should give us So we've got the we've got it slowly forming there. We've got um, too much of a too much of a decay on that. So let's bring it down a little bit. Let's bring down the second oscillator a bit. I want to make it a bit snappier actually.
Okay, so we wonder what that sounds like with a beat on it. Let's just get something going. We should have then on this channel Says, oops, let's um, let's get that. Okay, that's better. So now we've got the, the bass line. So if I bring in beats of the uh, ox track. Add some, um, add some beats in from the, um, some hi-hats from the zoom, the, the uh, chord. Nice. So that was quite simple really. The, the bass line was al already sort of starting to, to shape a little bit earlier when I was just recording some background music for a previous video and I just put in a, a very simple arpeggiation into the Octa track, sent that mini MIDI to the modular life forms SV1B and then I've just shaped that up and now I've got that on the sampler as well so my next move really is to get onto the sampler save that as a, a, a separate file because at the moment it's just in, in the buffer uh, there's sort of eight buffers on the uh, octa track so I'll save that and then I've got something I can drop in as well so I'm going to do a bit, do a bit more noodling maybe do some variations of that little bass line but it's a nice bass, bass sound that I've got out of the um, the, the modular synth so I want to just try and capture a bit more of that and I can drop in some variations on, on Sunday so I hope you found that was useful and um, please uh, comments are really welcome if you have found the video enjoyable hit that, hit that like button and uh, subscribe as well to the videos that will really help me to build the channel up and get to understand what works and what doesn't work on the channel so please you know uh, like subscribe comment and share and I look forward to the next video so bye bye for now